Thanks for stopping by guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a really quick episode answering a question that keeps getting asked over and over in a lot of my videos and in a lot of my streams, which is how do you get some of the survival parts in creative? And what I'm referring to are these. It's mostly the leveled parts, such as like the springs, seats, and engines. And I think there may be a few other parts that are in here that would normally not be. And well, the short answer is the test branch. If I go ahead and head back to the menu, here you will notice at the bottom of the screen, I am in Scrap Mechanic Beta version 0.4.8 test build 606. And that's the thing. This is the test version or the test branch as we often refer to it. Similar to how games like Minecraft have snapshots for their testing purposes or just to give a, um, I guess you can say early showcase of some of the features they're trying to add. Scrap Mechanic has that as well and that is the test build or the test branch. So if we hop over to Steam real quick, from here this is your normal Steam store if you go to library and then find wherever Scrap Mechanic is and right click on it and go to properties. Here under betas you will find this tab. Now right now it says test and I can't actually change it because I am playing the game. Make sure you have the game closed. And from there, let's go ahead and try and open this up again. Then we can go to betas, and now we have a drop down menu. You'll see opt out, which is, or none, opt out of all betas. That is the standard version of Scrap Mechanic. I rarely am in that version, to be honest. I enjoy living in the test version. 0.3.5, which I'm pretty sure is a legacy build, a really old build. I wouldn't mess with it. And then test, which is the test branch, which is what I'm using to get these survival parts in creative. Now then, once you click this, you should have an update here instead of play, and then you have to update it. It shouldn't take long to update, and there are a few things you do need to know. This is a test version, which means that some things may change or probably will change. And you may also experience a lot more issues than you normally would in just the normal game, a lot more bugs and things like that. Another thing you do need to know is multiplayer. If you plan on playing multiplayer, all players in the group have to be on the same version, whether that be the test version or the standard version. Everyone has to be together. So if you're all playing on test, you all have to be on test. You can't join if you have a standard. And well, if you try and hop back and forth between the two, you may encounter issues. Since I live pretty much in the test branch, I don't really notice any issues, but if you build something in the test branch that has test branch parts and bring it back to the standard version, you will more than likely run into issues. Keep that in mind. And well, that's about it. That is why I have the parts, how I got them, and how you can get them set up too. Please stop asking.